Let's find out which team will be advancing to the next round. All right, guys. So welcome, welcome, everyone. We are back with the Cosmo League tournament. This is match from the lower bracket. And that means only one of these teams can survive and advance to the next round. Kronos opening for the Tribe Gaming. And just closing the prediction. Thank you to everyone who was voting. And let's enjoy this war. As you can see on the bar, we have Overgrow spell. Doesn't look like he will be using that for the town hall. But looks like we are trying to kind of... Uh, make the infernos monolith and the eagle with the cannon invisible so that way the root riders will be working around and ending on this building interestingly seeing pet club arm <laughs> i never i don't know when was the last time i saw the test plus in the one row aligned there but yeah like root riders no issue smashing this one was only one overgrowth spell so now the buildings are back in the action it's not gonna be issue because he already cleared the town hall and as you can see sending a bunch of troops to snipe some of the defenses outside of the base so the funnel is perfect Honestly, already coming with the shield jesus chronos this is fast this is actually a really fast attack what was the time of it one minute 10 seconds jeez that was quick triple and totally making this look so easy i'm feeling we haven't talked for like ages you know like really really long time ago all right ishan nantu is live as well so we just saw chronos with incredible fast free start he hit a triple with the root riders under one minute 10 seconds let's see how the star sky gonna start here so as you can see also using the root riders imiti using the warden ability we are using the healing tone there uh, we are holding on to, oh i was about to say that we were kind of holding on the overgrowth spell here uh, but now using that over the town hall he was able to also kind of make the monolith scattershot and expo invisible for his root riders now they split into the two groups queen right now chasing the the lava here frozen arrow on the queen here royal champion being deployed we will be using the shield and the haze overgrowth spell is disappearing so we have another one and queen is still chasing the uh, lava pups i think this with the second overgrowth spell is gonna give enough time for the root riders kind of clean up all these defenses around the base if we check the time we can see it's not gonna be the faster uh, hit than uh attack from chronos but it still can be good like he has three heroes abilities two free spells of course which gonna be mainly used on this building which we made the invisible for the heroes frozen arrow with the queen rc with the shield boom 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 doing some damage and it is three star all day nice job so it is slower than uh, attack from chronos but i think so it's still uh not bad one minute 37 seconds it's still Good. All right, we have Nebrak. <clears throat> Actually, not using the dragons as first a surprise, but he's not scared to send these root riders into the compartment. There is the town hall, but we have also Poison Spell Tower and four egg bows shooting at them. More an ability now protecting them. And again, overgrowth spell, he brought only one. So now the uh, Rudred is gonna split into the two groups. Uh, look at the bigger group is kind of pushing to this scatter shot at the six o'clock. And Queen will be joining the other group here. He's using the skelly spell over the enemy Queen that's allowing the Royal Champion to fight her. There is Lava CC, so look like the Asia actually will be uh, chasing the Lava. Maybe even the Queen gonna switch to Lava because she's kind of close. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, she was for the second on the wall, but now she's helping with the Lava Pop. Alright, I still have one freeze, which can cover some of these Teslas. Tornado trap being triggered, actually only that freeze cover the Inferno and the Eagle. But the Royal Champion, ability being used right now, Giant Bomb, killing poor uh, RC, Ripper only for the Royal Champion. Now we have still three buildings. We have King alive, Pekka arriving with big group of the wizard. We can still do it, like the heroes can still handle it. There are like some of the defenses, but not that uh, big deal for the heroes. And this one will be three star. 
but if we are talking about time here it's gonna be very similar time to the attack which we saw from the star sky uh actually let me put this on the screen for you uh it's gonna show in any second um yeah 96 seconds see star sky were like 97 they still can uh, actually catch up with the time they just need to be hitting like 69 <laughs> second triple <laughs> something like that and hold on where are the lavas oh we are doing e-dragon hit my bad seven e-dragons quite a lot of loons here and we have earthquake spell Um, is it just want to take down the air defense and after just letting the flame finger being hit by the x-ball? Also another thing, this is taking time, like we already spending a bunch of uh, seconds only on the funnel. Like I like the super minion scan funnel and queen is funneling there as well, but yes, exactly. We spend like 40 seconds before the... E-Dragon start targeting some of the defenses, that's quite a lot of time here. And they have opportunity to catch up with the time here. But that's not what's gonna happen. Warden ability protecting everything here. So because we use the Flame Flinger, we have no Siege Machine, but as you can see, one E-Dragon went for the Town Hall, but now the E-Dragon triggering the Tornado Trap, so he will be investing a set of the spells here, like the Rage and also Mode of Free spells, but Town Hall being clear. Royal Champion joining, we have Haste and the Shield with the RC. Earthquake spell just doing some damage, a rest of the building, so kind of helping the chain. Uh, value from the e dragons and this is three star like uh, like the setup was slow but after the e dragons with the heroes smashed it you know so in the general like this of the attack was still pretty quickly here uh it is three star second triple for star sky but if we are talking about time as you can see joy hitting the triple in 102 seconds even Yo-Yo is alive with the Rude Riders. Okay, so we have Teach Barak Funnel. Typical. Actually, Cross and Arrow on the Queen, not using the Healer Puppet there. And of course, uh, Rude Riders trying to get pushed inside the core of the base. So we will be ending on the Town Hall. Double Rage here. Warden ability. So this phase has poison spell tower and enemy spell tower here. Most of the troops actually going to the north side of the base. He also brought the super hoggies from Stitch Machine. Okay. Pekka sadly stuck behind the wall, was trying to reach the enemy RT. I wish we sent these headhunters a little bit earlier because I think so they would actually take care of the. Oh, the enemy! went down okay never mind now invisible tower got activated so town hall got invisible but now it's back being visible here we don't have spells to protect the rude riders there but they should have enough power to clear the town hall they will take some damage but honestly didn't like this more hoggies went through the poison there and the rude riders most of them are still almost full hp here yo yo will be hitting the three star if we are talking about high I think so it's decent, but it's not gonna be of course a record here, but right now try gaming don't really have to be that much worried about time I think really depends how the third attack from uh, star sky will go Da 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 is in Okay, it's not gonna be rude riders. We have zap Lalo. Actually, we have 12 rocket balloons. Okay, let's see what he will be zapping. So far, he coming in here with the hero dive. Uh, Alright, throws an arrow. Ice Golem. I was about to say, tanking for the queen, but the Ripperoni hitting the spring trap. I'm trying to figure out what he's done. 
Was that like air defense? I missed what was that. Definitely cannon and the air defense, but something else. Mini level could be. It's kind of mix of level because we are going kind of heavier here with the rocket balloons. Like I see right now stepping in, she's reaching the multi inferno. Queen is not really moving fast. We have to be uh, keeping eyes on the invisible tower because it's right behind the town hall. Warden ability now protecting all these loons here. There is single inferno in the core of the base. A nice freeze. Town hall being clear. RC is reaching now ego. Not a set of the rocket balloons being deployed. So they're uh, taking care of the cannons. Queen being sniped by the monolith, but that's fine. All he wanted was town hall and he got it. RC already using the abilities we have. Hawk Puppet with the shield there uh, and Hoggies are absolutely amazing tanking for the Royal Champion front of the Monolith. Even that Invisible Tower got activated again, it doesn't matter. Da 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 has a lot of troops here and they will be adding the three star as well. But if I am correct, Shy Gaming should be keeping the lead with the time here. Yeah, 1 minute 27 seconds for them, 1 minute 40 seconds. Hi Tuna, hello. Welcome in. Okay, Riggy rest. With the Lalo, of course. Zab Lalo. Yeah, my team got much resynchronizing qualifier. They average like 1 minute 30 seconds. Mm. Yeah, uh, like Synchronic was definitely one of the teams which uh, kind of dealt with this meta easier, you know, like they are really can pull some fast three stars. And one minute 30 seconds slow for them, I agree, we saw them many many times, they were like 1 minute 17 seconds, I think under 1 minute 20 uh, seconds average time. Alright, Rigires coming immediately here with the hero died. So as you can see the king is smashing some of the defenses and next to the town hall also fighting against the enemy king. But see what we are using, healer puppet on the queen, a royal champion will have haste and the hoggy. Bream already on the way for the town hall, we have invis spell tower there, so we are using of course the free spell, Bream should be landing, big group of the loose, deploy everything, like this is a lot of multitasking. Like you can see, the loons come in, Blim come in, uh, heroes came in as well, like geez, how fast it can be. Like right now we're gonna slow down on the cleanup, because there is like a lot of storages left. Like all the defenses started that lava didn't pop, so we don't really have many lava pops there. 1 minute 50 seconds, like geez. He destroyed the defenses so so quickly, he's just slowing down on the storages. So clean, yeah. Like he has heroes alive, big group of the loons. Yeah, he made it look this so easy. And you saw like he started immediately with the hero dive, after immediately with the big group of the loons and of course the blim and the rest of the loons went in as well. Yeah, this one definitely gonna keep uh, try gaming in good position with the time here. That one was triple under 75 seconds. Alright, Link is in. Try gaming. Just hit the OP3 star. Rigiret's OP. That was attack under 72 seconds. Link coming in with the Queen Charge Lalo. So we, they are not really thinking about time. Because this one is definitely not gonna be fast. 3 star. I saw this even with the Shark Assassin. Like some of their hits, they didn't think like, okay, let's push time, you know, they just were uh, uh, doing strategy they like to do. They can win on the time. They would need like a really, like two hits, I don't know, under 70 seconds and uh, hoping the tribe can be slow with the final attack. Every queen charge scream is uh, slow. Yeah, like you can hit like a three point like under 70 seconds if you're queen charging and that queen gonna get sniped. She didn't, jeez, I was scared, all right. 
because that is monolith which was hitting there. Moons are actually in, like he's now trying to kind of speed up this. Uh, Moonlight almost cleared, we know that he deal with the enemy heroes. Now we have super minions coming out from the siege machine. He's using all these spells, supporting these rules to clear this lot, defense this apart and up. Clean up looking good, like we have big group of the minions and lava pops over that storage. And this one is GG here. So nicely done by Link, but again, it's gonna be attack which will be kind of very similar to their speed here. And so they were usually hitting, yeah, something around one 106 seconds see 102 seconds so yesterday war was uh, really cool all right we have final attack from exorcist he is bringing one overgrow spell here already deploying the siege barrack using the skelly spell distracting mainly the uh, monolith but also you can see some of the eggs bow got distracted as well frozen arrow on the screen Warden ability, sadly we didn't catch a group of the Rude Riders on the bottom side by the Warden. Tornado trap slowing down this while keeping the Rude Riders next to the Town Hall. They're splitting again. The Overgrowth spell will be gone soon. Any second. We actually have Golem. Yeah, everything is now dying around the town hall. We still have like heroes, so I don't think so he's in the trouble. Like three heroes with the abilities. RC using the abilities, so we have now Hoggy is there. Queen is on the spell tower going for the town hall, so it's still gonna be fast attack. And try gaming gonna get this done. There's nothing what Star Sky can do because when we check the average time for try gaming, as you can see, the final is one minute 23 seconds. So huge congratulations to try gaming. I was telling you this one is single elimination match of the Cosmo League tournament. And that means the Star Sky, even if they hit a triple, they sadly not gonna be fast enough and they will be out of the competition. So Tri Gaming will be moving here and they will be facing a winner between VA Esport and Marcos Esport. These guys are playing tomorrow. We know that Anarchy have won and tomorrow we'll be covering TWB versus EA it will be same time like today guys okay this will be a uh, war I'm looking for and probably we'll be covering uh, this, uh, this one I think so they're like uh, two wars back to back really have to check but yeah you want to see I can slow them down yeah, I can check it one more time if you want. But let's enjoy the final attack from Star Sky. We have Gar going in here. And it will be Rude Rider attack. Let's see if Star Sky can finish this match with the perfect war as well. I know we know the winner. But let's see if it's gonna be double perfect war. As you can see, already using a bunch of free spells, trying to freeze all these defenses. Right now we were fighting some of the ice clamps, also triggering the tornado trap here. We will be kind of ending on the town hall. RC using the haste and the shield. So she kind of just sniping some of the defenses. Now she's gone. Rudrider should be coming back. Actually, we don't have that many Rudriders. We still have Pekka. But we have King ability. I'm so sad that Rudriders went outside of the base because now King is stuck on the wall. Oh, he's going around. Interesting. Uh, would be cool if the queen will go around, uh, kind of joining the king for the town hall, but looks like now Rude Rider is opening the wall, so the king is back and targeting the town hall. Queen will be just wa uh, walking around the base, still grabbing some of the defenses, and Kari will be hitting the three star for Star Sky here, so they will be hitting our big guys are watching. Perfect war actually, which is decided by the time here. Try gaming attacks were definitely much much faster here. So GG to Star Sky. 
and congratulations to Tribe. Have I say this one was single elimination? That means Star Sky is leaving this competition, and Tribe Gaming will be waiting if they're gonna be facing VA Esport or Marcos Esport. All right, um, but uh, uh, I thought that he uh, that was a Valkyrie of Tesla. I can check again. That one was APOC moment? No, not even close to the one star. No, he, he... That feel like he knew, no? He immediately dropped the bulk there, or like, I don't know, the reaction was pretty fast. 